Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. Uh, so we're going to finish out the mail week here. Uh, we did get two TTM successes in the mail. Um, and unfortunately, we did get an RTS. No! And you know how we hate these RTSs, guys, but it's a part of our hobby. Now, every time I see this yellow sticker come back, I'm like, ugh. Uh, and I have a purchase I wanted to share with you guys. So why don't we start with the bad news and get that out of the way. So I had seen that Mr. Knudsen had a high success rate. And so I sent off to him at this address. Uh, this address has had successes as of early or as recently as of the end of April or end of March, beginning of April. Have not seen any RTSs come back from it. Uh, obviously until mine. So I'm not sure if he's no longer signing or not, or if this is one of those hiccups that, you know, the mail system has. But uh, I did have some, some cards of his to show you just so you guys know who it is. So Mr. Knudsen was a pitcher for the Brewers. And so as you can see, I had a few cards uh, heading his way that I wanted his signature on. And so with that, I don't necessarily know if this is a bad address or not. Um, it could be one of those, like I said, one of those hiccups. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it, see if anybody else is getting RTSs from it or not. Um, if I see successes come through, I'll resend back to them. Um, so uh, send at your own risk right now because I am unsure uh, whether it's good or not anymore. So there you go, guys. There's the bad news. Moving on to our good news. We have a one-of-one -one success in 29 days coming out of DV Daniels, New Jersey. And we got back Mr. Steve Balboni. Great signer. Is a one per. Um, I believe I already have him on the 1990 Donruss. So I'll have to double check. So this might be a, a duplicate. There you go, Kurt. I might have a duplicate again. Um, but I'll have to check and see. So Steve Balboni. And our last success of the day is a 5 of 6 success in 25 days. It's coming out of West Palm Beach, Florida. The only thing was not signed was the index card, of course. And we got back Mr. Tom Lawless. So I got Mr. Lawless on this 1990 Donruss, uh, which um, I believe I already have one, but I think it was in black ink. So I'll have to compare and see which one looks better. Um, so we got the 90 Donruss. I have the 89 Bowman. And Kurt, I have some dupes again, but I have uh, another Tom Lawless. In Donruss, I have the 1990 Tops, and to finish it off, I had another 1990 Donruss. So I definitely have some dupes for Mr. Lawless. Um, that Balboni might be a dupe as well. So Kurt, reach out to me and Bud if you uh, if you're up for another trade or not. Just let me know. And so that's it for the successes. Now I did make one purchase uh, for the set. The, this purchase uh, was a good one in my opinion. I'll show you guys why here in a sec. Um, I did get it uh, PSA DNA certified. Um, I bought it that way already. Um, and I got Mr. Gus Polidor. Polidor, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so this ended up costing $32. Now, $15 of that I got uh, in a rebate from another app I use. So it ended up only costing really $17. Now... Some of you might be like, why is it so expensive for Mr. Polidor Auto? But um, for those of you who don't know, he was actually killed in 95. So being that this is a 90 Donruss, he was killed in 95. Um, 90 Donruss isn't exactly the most popular card to get signed to begin with. Uh, there aren't many out there. So there was one that was not certified, which was like $4 cheaper than this one. So I said I might as well get it certified. I don't know if I'll crack it out of PSA DNA and send it, or, or have a, have it go to Beckett and have them change it out for me or not. I'm undecided. I, I might do that, but um, definitely wanted to get this one. It was another deceased player that I needed to get so I can cross it off the list. I have another deceased player uh, coming on its, on its way uh, with another purchase that I can't wait to show you guys. But this was definitely one I was glad to get. So again, it was about thirty-two dollars. Uh, it really only cost me 17 but uh, but yeah, we got this one. Uh, great addition for the set. 
and that's what we have for the day guys so hope you enjoyed the video hope you guys all had a fantastic saturday in your mailboxes hope you all have a blessed weekend until our next video see ya, see ya. bye guys